Hey guys, what one bit TV so today we will be reacting to why Muslim women should wear hij hijab by Ahmed Didat. Guys, I've seen a lot of Muslim women wearing this, but like, I never kind of asked. I feel it's just tradition, but guys, now I'm gonna get the full meaning, like the reason. Guys, thank you for trying following me through this journey. Like, thank you for trying supporting me. Even though you guys insult me a lot, but thank to you guys they actually supporting me and encouraging me. I really, really do appreciate. But for you guys insulting me, no offense, guys. Guys, let's get straight into this. Madam, your Bible says, your holy Bible says, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you that the woman must cover her head, that the woman who doesn't cover her, shave off her head. Your Bible says that. <laughs> the woman, the woman who bathes her hair, says, shave them off, shave it off. That's what the Bible says. And you woman, the, your Bible says she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches, they don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street. And people just walk by, looking the fun. Say, well, maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being raped. No, no, I said you are invited. Wait, 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 chill, chill. Like, let's, let's take this chill feel, like, what does it mean? I feel any man that can rape a woman is, he's not a man. It does not make sense, like, we're, we're in a century that, whoa, rape, like, it sounds strange though. Like, why do you want to rape a woman? I feel even if a woman is dressed... Even if she's naughty, why dressing? But you, you have no right. Like, she, she has full control of her body. She is a woman. It's her body, guys. If you man, like, focus, like, we focus on life, like... Oh... But I don't feel if any of us, we see a man raping a woman and she's screaming and... We won't want to help, like... Let's just get back to it. it. Look, this modesty, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns, Roman Catholic Church, nobody gives them a second look. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your gold coast, that's a Scarborough and all that, with bikinis and tangas and G-strings, look, she... <laughs> It's attracting look, even an old man like me. I tell you, my God. <laughs> if, if I went there, I tell you, I'll be burning inside. <laughs> I'm telling you, look, this is the nature of man. God made us like that. The thing that allures man more than anything on earthly existence is woman. Do you know that? I don't know. The Quran says, the Quran says, Zuyina lil nasi hubbu shahwati min al nisa. Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, min al nisa, women. Wal banin, then son, you know. Well, he's true there. Like, what he says is true, I believe it. Like, men get, like, we know, we know, but I feel it's it just the matter of your mindset and the way you're able to control yourself. Like, no matter, like, the way woman is dressed, like, this century we are, like, we see this a lot. Like, we may tend to expose their body more than way back. So, like, I think we have come, it's cool now, like, you're, you're, you're free to wear what you want to wear, like, it's none of my business. Doesn't mean I want to rape you. Maybe way back they do it, but like now I don't think this happened. Maybe happening some places, but it's not as common. 
but I don't feel any man that we will be able to want to rape a woman is called a man guy. Right? Like, he he's less he's less than. I don't know what to say. Like, it does not make sense though. Like, it, I I still can't get the point why a man won't rape a woman. Like, no matter the way she's dressed decently, you you have no right. Like, oh, it's strange though. Well, this this. Let me say our generation guys is is kind of twisted. Like women tend to want men more this gen like this whole generation. Like women tend to go after men now. Guys, let's get back, guys. But eleven cents. I can make my own football team. You know how, how <laughs> you know it makes me feel proud. I've got eleven cents, you know. My own football team, my own cricket team. Mm-hmm. Well Benin. And number three, well, Anati al Mukantar de Minas Zahabi will fit da and hoarded heaps of gold and silver and wealthy land and horses branded for excellence and all this. This is the list that is given in the Quran. Number one, women. The Quran says, the thing that allures men most on this earthly existence is women. And I'm telling my Western friends that I don't have to prove that to you. I don't have to convince you. I said, you see, in my country, in the city of Durban, city of Durban, I think we'll end with this. We'll end with this. Okay? We'll end with this. In the city of Durban, there is a firm called Lucian Motors. They sell second-hand trucks. You know, lorries, lorries, trucks. You call them trucks here too? Trucks. We call them trucks. And on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. Then G North, they sell farm implements. And on the tractors that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking these Westerners, I said, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second-hand truck or with a tractor? Except the man. You see, the woman is being dangled, so he'll read the Edwards. And BMW, I don't know you have BMWs here. It's a motor car, it's a motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes-Benz. I'm not <laughs> in the market for it. You see, I started with the Volkswagen Beetle. I did 120,000 miles and I had to change for another Beetle and another Beetle and another Beetle. Then they stopped making the Beetles, you know the first one in Beetles. <laughs> they started the Golf, so I had to buy Golf number one, Golf number two. I'm still not in the market for a BMW, but I'm forced to read this advert in my newspaper. I see a BMW motor car and with a woman in the scampi, skimpiest of bikini, what you call the tanga, you know the G-string. She, she's standing in front of the motor car and it's, it's written at the bottom, test drive her now. <laughs> I'm asking, I'm asking the woman of the car, the woman is buying the car. And the her is underlined, test drive her now. I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is. The Westerner, he sells his mother, his wife, his daughter, his wife is a star, and she's been mangled on the screen, simulating rape, and they, they enjoy it. You, you enjoy your wife being simulated. It's not real rape, but you know, it's simulated. You can see everything about it. She's being raped, your mother, your wife, your daughter, and you enjoy your wife is a star. <laughs> sick, sick. No, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God, we haven't come to that sickness yet, we Muslims. We try, we try to keep away from it. This is your pleasure, your privilege. We have no right to force you. But we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price. I get it, but I still stand with what I said earlier. Even if a woman is naked, like, you have no right to rape her, like, but I know, like, you're not supposed to stir a man up to that extent, like, like you see, men are dogs, so you get to the point. The man is unable to control himself. I get the part, like, you're not supposed to stir him up, but every man is supposed to have self discipline. Like, that is, that is one thing we're supposed to strive for and try to get, so to be disciplined to the point that we're able to overcome temptation. That's why the Bible is that. The Quran is there too. So, like, you read all these amazing books and you focus on God. Your like your main purpose is to be on God. And you know, when you are doing that kind of thing, it's a sin. Like you won't think of it as a sin, 
So we try to avoid it. But avoiding it in the sense that when you see those kind of adverts, or when you see a lady that you look away, like it's hard, but you have to look away. I'm not, I'm not saying this because I do too. Like when when I see a lady, I look very beautiful. Like I'm not interested in having a girlfriend, talking of. So I just look away, guys. Like let's try and be focused, guys. Us men out there, guys. Like try and be focused, like. Women, women will come later, but if she's not your wife, I don't say why you want to do anything with her, like, talking from an honest person, like, from Bambi TV, guys, if she's not your wife, stay away, you won't have no right to have sex with her, she's not your wife, it's against our religion, like, our religion, like, we know, it's against Christianity, it's against Islam, so, bro, please like, share, scatter our channel, like, Please share, like, and subscribe. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.